the Hawaiian Islands are an archipelago of eight major islands, several atolls, and numerous smaller islets in the North Pacific Ocean, extending some 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers from the island of Hawaii in the south to the northernmost Kure Atoll. Formerly, the group was known to Europeans and Americans as the Sandwich Islands, a name that James Cook chose in honor of the fourth Earl of Sandwich, the then first Lord of the Admiralty. The contemporary name of the islands, dating from the 1840s, is derived from the name of the largest island, Hawaii Island. Yes, these islands have become a real tourist attraction, and as you know, to go from any part of the world, you gotta get there by plane. But what about the transportation between the Hawaiian Islands? The future of travel between those islands could be moving from tens of thousands of feet in the air to just a few feet up. Boston-based electric sea glider maker Regent announced that Hawaiian Airlines made a major investment in the company in support of the development of a sea glider that would transport up to 100 passengers from dock to dock, traveling just above the water's surface. The sea gliders produce zero emissions and travel just over the water's surface rather than thousands of feet in the air like traditional planes. The planes fly at the speed of an aircraft but with the operating cost of a boat, according to Regent. Currently, the company's sea gliders, called the Monarch, can travel up to 180 miles using next-gen batteries to get a range of up to 500 miles. Man, just imagine going from Kona Harbor on the Big Island to downtown Honolulu on Oahu in less than 55 minutes door-to-door. -door. Pretty amazing, right? We'll continue the video in a few seconds. Until then, try to give us two clicks. One on the subscribe button and one on the notification bell. Thanks. Now let's continue the video. Regent Sea Gliders operate only above water using three different forms, the company says. Floating on its hull, using a hydrofoil to get lifted above the waves, or flying low using what is called the wing-in-ground effect. So how does it actually work? After pushing back from the dock, the vessel will float on its hull in the water while operating in the no-wake zone. Shortly after, you'll see changes start to happen. As it reaches 20 miles per hour, the craft will rise on its retractable hydrofoil, meaning it essentially gets some lift. Reaching speeds of between 20 and 40 miles an hour as it leaves the docking harbor, the vessel smoothly transitions onto its wing, retracts the foil, and accelerates to a comfortable 180 miles per hour cruise speed. Unlike a seaplane though, you won't see the glider lift into the air and operate like a traditional aircraft at this point. According to Regent, the vessels are wing-in-ground effect vehicles. This means its gliders will stay within a wingspan of the surface of the water, relying on aerodynamic properties that involve the vessel flying on a dynamic air cushion created by the pressurized air between the wings and the water. The machines will run entirely on electric power, so the company sees this as a major step towards sustainable transportation. Before building and testing the Monarch Sea Glider, the company will build a smaller one called the Viceroy. The company claims that the Viceroy, a 12-passenger flagship sea glider, will have a range of 160 nautical miles with current battery technology. In addition to getting their full-scale prototyping and sea trials off the ground, or water, by 2023, Regent will have to make sure their sea glider can withstand the winds and famously large waves of the Hawaiian coast. Any sea glider service between the Hawaiian Islands would be years away since the vessels are targeted for completion in 2028. Still, this is a reminder of a couple of trends happening right now that are going to be fascinating to watch over the coming years. Airlines and other major companies in the travel sector are looking to both improve the sustainability of their operations and tap into what travelers are looking for. For all this, the futuristic electric sea gliders are the perfect solution. However, there are currently no plans to replace Hawaiian Airlines' existing 130 daily flight routes in Hawaii with sea gliders. But the electric-powered sea gliders are part of the airline's goal to implement more sustainable transportation methods within its service. Imagine being in Hawaii when these sea gliders start being used for inter-island transport. Would you use them? Why? Let us know your answers and opinions on this topic in the comments section below. We'll be happy to read them. At the end of the video, make sure to press the bell to never miss more videos like this. Smash that like button and share this video out to your friends via social media. Have a nice day and see you again soon.